third extra session of the season for the Nets. They're one and one. And they're here because of these last couple plays. Uh, that one was essential. And I thought good balance defensively. McCullough looks like he's going to help out. Kenyon Martin all alone up there. But the space dribble gives him the look. And it's just extraordinary because he can put it on the floor. And, and it's able to dodge one. And a good challenge, too, at the end by Kenyon Martin. You just can't leave great shooters alone. Change it. And Pierce figured he had a wonderful look and a chance. And a sigh of relief by Byron Scott there as he gets ready and gets organized. Each team gets an extra timeout. And now you start even. Zip to one for uh, Boston. And as you noted, and that's able to be even. Celtics were in Washington. Had an overtime loss to the Wizards. They will not have Antoine Walker. He is fouled out. Kenyon Martin has five for the Nets. Paul Pierce has got 35 points, but I'm sure he would rather have had just two more. <laughs> He's such a force, though, isn't he? I mean, he puts a lot of pressure on you. And that matchup, well, that's why Martin with the five, it's essential. He stay on the floor. Now Keith Van Horn will make two of three free throws to get it into overtime. would like to have that free throw over as well, I'm sure. Now he had some game winners. Remember the... His years in Utah, uh, coming down the stretch in the tournament in big time. And those two ensured this. It's tough to get iced, to go sit down for a minute or so, then go back up there and make it, and he did that. The tip, Celtics have it. Kenny Anderson, who made a huge basket in the final minute, has it. Joe Johnson, they're going to put Martin on Johnson. They're going to put Kittles mm -hmm. on Pierce. Good pick. They look like they're stuck here. Anderson. Some trouble, but T for a jumper. No good. And the rebound yeah. by Van Horn. Nice job of boxing out. You'll settle for that, right? And he'll kick back, played it well. Boxed in, Kenny Anderson. Every possession crucial now in the final five minutes. Here's McCullough. He's been quiet offensively and nearly stolen. Cross court to Kittles. Now Martin. They go down good to play. McCullough. Back to Kidd. Kidd's jumper, no good. Trying to bank it. Okay, Todd's got to do some. Little damage, make an offensive move once he gets in there. I thought the last duck and he would. Stolen nearly by Kittles. Now the Celtics reset with 12 on the shot clock. And Kidd with Pierce, tough match. And it's taken away. Missed cue by Anderson. And Anderson fouls. I think Kenny Martin's talking to Todd McCullough at half court. And I think that's all about, we got it into you there twice. The second time, make your move. And here's the giveaway. Kid, such a feisty competitor with the denial. Al Van Horn has it. Let's go into this partial weave. It's Kenyon Martin on the rookie, Joe Johnson. Jump hook. Jump hook. Nice Freddy. deal to kill McCullough, and he got fouled. How about them chatting over at half court? McCullough availed himself there as Martin went to the jump hook. The nice extra look. Oh, the development of Kenyon Martin. Here, McCullough just appears underneath the basket there. So alert as the T is attracted. Yeah, yeah. A little offline there. And one of the few times that McCullough did not catch the ball cleanly. So he's got the second free throw. Nets 19 of 26, and they missed mm. both. Man, he's such a good free throw shooter, too. 75%. We're still tied at 90. Nobody has scored in overtime. Here's Pierce on Kittles. All alone. Shoots a jumper, goes in, oh. out, and in. Ah, so tough. Such a soft touch. 11 of 31 for Pierce this afternoon. 37 points. Kenyon Martin wants it. He's got it on the low block on the rookie. A three second violation. They've been getting away with it. Turning. Kittles. Now Van Horn with a fake. Pull up. No good. Martin got a rebound. Kid back to Van Horn. Now he's going to drive left handed. Did go. Pretty good delivery though. And the Celtics with a two-point lead and the ball under three minutes remaining. Now Pierce with Kittle is the danger now. Curry trying to deny him. Kittle's working hard, but Pierce has it. Shooting over Carey, and he's got that one. Drained it cleanly. 
That's a tough shot. Great defense. Just such talent. 225 left. Now Mark. One more time as McCullough tries to get open. All five Celtics are in the paint, and the ball's rejected. Kenya looking to get to the free throw line. On the inbounds, it's Jason Kidd. Seven to shoot. Kidd in some traffic. No good, and the rebound, Paul Pierce. So the Celtics, with 2.10 remaining, have a four-point lead. Tony Petit, Pierce, now Martin back on him. A good move by Byron because he's elevating over Perry Kittles. This time he shoots again long range, and he's got that one. Wow. That's a three-point field goal. Pierce on his back in front of the Nets bench has given the Celtics a seven-point lead. A zone beyond belief. Anybody on him, defenseless. Mike Crispino and Bill Raftery in New Jersey this afternoon. We're in overtime. Nets have missed all four of their field goals. The Celtics have made three, all by this man. Uh, they're very similar. Same position, same spot. This time it's Kittles able to rattle it and still knock it down. Same spot, Kittles again. And again, unerring. Uh, this one, nothing but nylon. And then they put a bigger guy on him, Kenyon Martin, who deflects, forces him a little bit deeper. And look at the challenge. And Oh my goodness, they're going to have to change the nets. He has just been outstanding. But now you're thinking of quick hitters. Quick scores, play some good defense, don't foul, force a miss, all of a sudden you get yourself back within two. So a seven-point deficit with under two minutes remaining. Paul Pierce has 42 points. Antoine Walker fouled out with 25. Uh, John Carroll down there just knows what everybody else runs getting them organized It's Kittles Now Jason Kidd to shoot. Kidd's got oh. that and it's a three. So tough Gets it right back there. Now you just got to guard Four-point advantage Richard Jefferson's gonna check in for the Nets When he gets a chance got to get the help on that side Pierce double teamed on Martin Beats him, throws up a wild shot, and he's going to go to the line. That's all that was about, that shot. You know, tracks some bodies, getting traffic. That's the nice thing, though. The double here caused some difficulties. And he's still able to turn. The only thing they did poorly there, as McCullough came in, was didn't turn it back. If Kenny Martin had taken away the baseline, then this may not have occurred. Pierce. With a hard drive to the basket, earns a couple of free throws. 12 of 13 there. And Jefferson's going to replace Todd McCullough. And they can play a little bit smaller, and quicker, and really not the devastating big guy in the opposing team. Minute 28 left. And Paul Pierce has got 44 points, tying a career high. Now Kid to Van Horn, that's long yeah. range, way off target, and Williams has it with 1.15 left. Nets running out of time, down by six. I don't know if you really needed the three that trip. You know, get right back, you got to get on even numbers at 99.90.